income potential, right? <clears throat> Imagine having 75% of them replied that. Hey, my friend, Jean-Serge Gagnon here. And today we're going to talk about number five in the attraction marketing truth the online truth the truth about attraction marketing online and number five is all about offering them your product so we're going to get right into that but first this so the real question is this what are the strategies techniques and tools that you need to learn to generate residual income from the e-learning boom that's happening right now my name is Jean-Serge Gagnon and welcome to Course Income Secrets. So yeah, so if you've been following along, this is an ebook that I put together that's got five separate, um, you know, things that you need to do that to learn about attraction marketing online. Now, attraction marketing online is taught by tons of people. I mean, everybody in the, in the social space is teaching that and attraction marketing is certainly important. And, but the thing that they don't teach is the, well, this is what this is about. The real truth of attraction marketing, the five steps that you need to understand that you need to be doing to actually get results from attraction marketing. Number one, setting up your profile. Number two, posting every day. Number three, engaging on posts. Number four, uh, after enough time, have a conversation with them. And number five, offering your products. Now, the thing is that those are the same things that everybody's teaching, right? But what I'm talking about is the specifics of why you need to do these or how you need to do them. Like, for example, posting every day is great and you have to have. But what's important is posting content that your avatar will actually resonate with. Now, again, leaders teach that. But what does that really mean? How do you get to that point when you're building an online presence, when you're building your online uh personal brand right so how do you get there so today we're going to talk about the actual number five so obviously you can go back and get the first four um, episodes as well you can even get this ebook at attractionmarketingtruth.com but before we get into the actual episode if you're listening to the audio of this you're going to want to go check out the video at cis uh four uh, uh, well let's put it on here at cis455.jsgagnon.com because I'm going to be sharing my screen and showing you more about this important, important topic. All right, so let's get right to it. Let me share my screen and let's talk about what it means to actually, you know, have conversations, right? Ask them, uh, ask them to buy your thing. Offer them your product. Offer them what you are offering them right so have you noticed when you go and you scroll through your feed how you get the content from the, all the same people now me it's a little different because of the way I actually use a social media I'm actually seeing posts yeah I'll see posts from people that I've seen before but I'm also going to see new posts people from people that I haven't really I don't even know who they are really because I'm just starting to engage on their on their posts but how do you get to that point right but Anyways, that's not really today's topic. Today's topic topic is about offering them your thing. So, whatever your thing is, right? Is it weight loss? Is it is it supplements? Is it um, uh, you know health? Like all about health? Is it all about health? Is it is it about relationships? Is it about um, income? Is it about generating wealth? Right? What is your thing? It could be uh, courses that I, I know lots of people that I follow have these uh, marketing courses that they actually sell for like seven bucks or something, right? Which puts people into this funnel and this uh, process. That's, you know, that's one of the most important things is to build something online that will bring people through the steps of getting them to you, offering them and them buying something from you, right? But even before you get them to that point, you need to be doing these five things. Right? Let's just go back a little bit talk about the five things that we that we talked about before right number one setting up your profile so your ideal prospect knows who you are now when I go to my profile and when you go to my profile right obviously if you go to my profile you'll have a clue a little bit of a clue of what I'm about right you've got a, a cover photo here that talks about a software demo I have 
Um, by the way, we're going to talk about that software, of course, right now, because it's, it's super important for you to use a process. Now, you don't have to have the software, but you need the process, and the software simplifies it. So I've, uh, right here in my intro, it actually says I'm the creator of that software, right? And then when I scroll through my feed, you can see some personal stuff, but you can also see stuff that has to do with my um, with my software, with my business, with my post, right? Right, right here we see last last week's Attraction Marketing Truth 4 or 5, right? We see that there. We see something I'm using, a tool here I'm using. We see, the again, my tool, thoughts on me, and then, you know, whatever. So you see a little bit of what I'm about. Now, you might not have a complete clue of exactly what I do, and it's important. It's important for your profile to give a clue, but not to tell people what it's about, or at least make and maybe me i have to even improve this some more of obviously it, it can always be improved but what's important is that people don't know exactly what you sell in my case maybe they do so that that's one thing i actually have to work on but you shouldn't have that yeah exactly you know i'm explaining this to you right now and i'm, I'm kind of realizing oh my god that's that's not right now one of the reasons i did that is because i've been doing a demo every thursday which I am, which I'm probably going to change the process I'm doing. So I'm going to have to change this. But here's the thing: people need to know what you're about, so that when they're ready, they know where to, they know to find you, right? And they need to be seeing you. Now that's why number two is posting every day using words your ideal prospect will res resonate with. Now, you know the super important thing that you need to understand is that if you're going to be creating content that your audience resonates with if your profile is about getting your audience to know who you are well you need to know who your audience is right the avatar that's that's super important for you to know who is your target market who is your actual avatar which is basically a description of your ideal prospect right you need to know who your avatar is and that's one of the things i actually put together not long ago i should probably uh, anyways, you're going to be able to find it because that's kind of what I'm going to be talking about next in the next few episodes is going to be about avatar creation, how to use AI to get a really, really good avatar because I'm actually doing that right now, building my own avatar using AI and everything. So you're going to be able to use AI yourself to do that. You need to have your avatar defined. Okay, so now, um, then the number three thing that's super important is engaging on posts of your most targeted prospects now what does that mean right what does that mean if i go to facebook and i go into groups right i go to groups well before we even talk about that let's just kind of clarify right to find your ideal prospect on facebook you're going to go into groups now you can search right here and put you know keywords that would work for you right so a uh, single mom trying to balance i don't know if that'll even work i'm gonna try this balance um kids and and healthy healthy eating so i'm curious what will happen if i do a full search normally i just search for a couple words but if i go into groups and i just do that you can actually see right here healthy mom healthy kids right Mom Entrepreneurs Supporting Moms Network, right? There's 6,000, 7,000, 459,000. So I guess that, you know, if you have a, 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 a long keyword, you're going to find a lots of groups. Now, here's the thing. If you're, if you're trying to target moms that are trying to balance kids and healthy eating, right? Well, this would be a great place for you to find your ideal prospect in these groups. So now I'm not in any of these groups because my target market is more affiliates and online marketers. But right now, uh, you would be able to, you would join these groups, right? Follow the groups or join the groups, right? And then eventually you would look at this. So let me just go to my, my target, right? Which is affiliate marketers. under groups and if i just go beginner affiliate am i in any of these groups i'm in maybe i should join all these groups because i did i am in a few groups but i don't know why it doesn't show me the groups i guess i have to say my groups i think yeah so i'm inside of this group so if i go to click funnels this click funnels group right so i can go into that group and i can see the posts that are there right so i can see posts 
in the group like here Kelly posted something right here right uh, Mike posted something here uh, Asma posted something here do do Deluine posted something right so I mean you can see who is actually posting in the groups by just going to the group right and the secret is engaging on a post of your most targeted prospects what does that mean right so first in the group you have these targeted prospects these are people that are in the group that you are looking at so that means these are people that are actually interested in the things that your ideal prospect is interested in so you have to define that right you have to define who's your ideal prospect who's your avatar what are they interested in and then you go find groups that have the topic that they're interested in right so me I'm in affiliate marketing so I'm looking for groups that have affiliate marketers who are interested in affiliate marketing right so this is the group but the thing is that well one of the things I found is that if I try to go let's say I go to Joshua here I click his name right to go to his uh, uh to his group profile I can see some of the posts that he did recently right so he's you know active you now two days ago two days five days ago um and then November 2022 right so he's not he's active the last few days he's posted a few things but what if he what if I want to know if he's active like I could actually engage on these posts and comment on them and answer the questions that he's got right um uh but that's one way to en engage on his on him to get him to notice me right because that's the secret you want your ideal prospect to know you exist and to know what you're about and to know what you what you're what you can help them with and all that right so what you do is you go to this th these three little dots right there whoops my and then you click on the view main profile right there which takes you to their main profile once you're on their main profile now you can engage on their post on their page now most people that are on Facebook especially if they're trying to build a business now if you're not a, if you're not going after people trying to build a business it's going to be a little harder because they're not as active right but still you can find the ones that are active that are actually going to notice you by going to their to the ones that are actually posting right so Joshua here he's actually posting so I could probably react to this post and comment on it I can same thing with here he's got some food thing he's got a uh, Zapier he's asking about a uh, Zapier integration with the click funnels so whatever it is that he's posting I could actually engage on his stuff and comment on his stuff and then what would happen <coughs> sorry is that he would see me in his notifications right if I go to notifications here <coughs> you can see like Har Harish here I actually engaged on his post and now I see he's commenting on my comments right so that means that he actually saw me engaging on his post right same thing with others but the idea here is that you want people to notice you doing things that they want you to do which is engaging on their posts if they're posting on Facebook they want people to engage on their posts that's why they're posting on Facebook they want people to see their stuff that's that's the main reason why people post on Facebook right they're trying to some are trying to attract clients and whatever but that doesn't matter because they want engagement on their posts so you can be doing that now that what does that mean right so one of the things I find is that that takes a huge amount of time plus how do you know when you should be engaging on Joshua's post again so so number four would be having a conversation but when they're ready after enough time have a conversation with them so how do I know that it's time to have a conversation with Joshua I don't know I can go by memory and saying oh I remember seeing his post I remember seeing that every time I posted he reacted whatever and then you you are in the group and you're finding his post and you're kind of you know remembering it or you use a tool to give you the list of the users that are active which is what active group users is. so this let me just kind of get into active group users a little bit so active group users let me put the link here too so you can get it so if you go to activegroupusers.com you can actually go and get this tool what you do is you give it the groups that your that your target market is in in my case like I said it's affiliate marketer so I got all these groups here and then after you've um, had it do its its thing which is all explained in training and everything but after you've got it do its thing it'll give you a list 
of the users that are active in the group right now there's in this particular search there was 574 I can just load more here to kind of see so basically what happens is it will give you the list of of people that are actually active in the groups that you chose as you can see right here I've got names of people I've got their posts and their comments I can keep loading more if I want right but I mean you don't need more than a couple because um, I do 20 a day where I basically go to their profiles I click on their names here let's see this one was five days ago let me go to somebody who I've so Lindsay here if I click on her name <coughs> it pops up a profile uh, it pops up his her uh, summary which shows me that I visited her 36 times in the last 523 days so that that's the other thing that's important right before you try to offer anybody a product you got to make sure that they actually know who you are they like they like you enough to be actually having a conversation with you and so how do you do that right I mean there's tools that tell you to just have conversation with people just engage on their post and just comment on their thing and send them friend requests send them private messages and everything uh, just by going through a list of people in groups and stuff like that now I've done that a little bit it it kind of gives you some results because especially if they're groups and they're actually people that are actually active and they're actually interested in in promoting stuff online but typically you won't get very good results you might get a one percent or even a tenth of a percent in sales at the end of the day in the number of people so imagine if you're limited by Facebook because Facebook won't let you engage on more than maybe 10 or 20 people every single day because if you do more than that they're gonna put you in Facebook jail because they don't want you to automate things right so if you do if you were limited and you, it takes you a thousand conversations to have one sale and you're doing 20 a day well let's do the math right let's do the math 20 a day uh, 20 a day for a thousand so a thousand divided by 20 right that's 50 days every single day doing 20 connections having a bit of conversations now the thing is that maybe let's say you did 20 a day out of the 20 you're probably going to get three maybe three two to four let's say two to four because it is a 10 percent as well two to four that'll actually reply where you're going to have actually have a conversation right so let's say you're having two well let's say three you're, you're having three conversations per day uh just back and forth a little bit right that that's insane how much time that takes right because if you after 10 days you're gonna have potentially 30 conversations going on right you know because the first day uh, probably after maybe three four days the first ones will disappear <laughs> but you'll still have some that'll come back right so if you had like 30 conversations a day, you gotta have the time to do that now I'm not saying it's not possible and I'm not saying it's not a good approach because it does kind of work but it like I said it takes a lot of effort it takes a lot of time <coughs> I'm sorry about that and you know today we're gonna talk we're talking about getting that sale getting them have a conversation with them so how do you know when it's time to have a conversation when you're actually been building this knowledge with them right Lindsay here I visited her 36 times over the last year right a year and a half or so or two years actually and you can see the numbers right there 831 40 47 54 65 71 days so that's basically the because I visited her profile every once in a while the tool keeps track of that and it shows me uh, that that information here so when I look at the list over here I can actually see this first number here 50 28 20 21 19 that's the number of times I've visited those people's profile right so RJ right here 19 times Patricia 21 times DD 50 times Ben 28 times Judy 20 times Michael 21 times Brian 19 times and now I'm not sure yet because I'm still building my knowledge about the best way to use all this like I'm not sure yet how many is a good number and plus that good number would probably change based on who it is right some people might be fine with you reaching out and having conversation with them after you've engaged with them 10 times others they might need 50 or 60 times before they actually start to feel that you're somebody who can talk to them right or they're willing to have a conversation now over here we can see 
these these hot, cold cold warm hot right that's the temperature based on the settings i have in the tool because it's automatically changes them from cold to warm to hot based on the number of conversation uh, number of engagements i have on their profile and then the other one is basically the status so active replied contacted uh, you don't see uh, there's a contact there a uh, trial right here so that's the num that's the status of that lead so whenever i find that <clears throat> that they are hot in terms of temperature then i can reach out to them and have a conversation with them and i can see whether they were i can decide whether they were well i can set it whether they replied or not so that i know where we are in the conversation now once they're hot that means you've engaged with them enough to 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 reach out to them and that's the difference between reaching out to people who you have no clue who you are using the automation tools that are out there that let you reach out which i by the way i've i've used i have those tools you know they're great the when you have zero time to do anything uh and you know it's better to reach out to people that you'll get only one out of a hundred you know buy from you than to not reach out to anybody right <clears throat> but because i'm using this tool to reach out or decide who to reach out that's different but uh let's get that url out of there so you can kind of see but that's the thing you have to have a conversation with somebody before they'll buy from you that's pretty much guaranteed until you're super super successful and you got tons of social proof you can post that on social media and pay for ads and everything in the beginning you definitely have to have conversations so <clears throat> what kind of conversations what can they look like right so the conversation can look like hey i've been following you for a while i just thought i'd say hi uh wondering how you're building what are you doing online or what are you building online right you have a conversation like that because they've already seen you in their notifications they've already they've already seen your posts in their feed they've already seen your comments <laughs> so you know they have a clue of what you're about so and this is the thing with a tool like this you can track how things are going like like this result right here shows us the number of people i visited how many posts i commented on how many i contacted how many actually replied how many i actually presented to how many trial my software and how many bought right so in my case and the income is is just not being tracked that's why it says zero but obviously there's income they purchased but this shows me right here that i have a 20 well let's just say look at this <clears throat> so out of 819 profiles that i actually commented on right i visited 1200 i commented on 800 why is that number so much lower is because lots of people on facebook don't actually post they're they're not active so this tells me that i visited 19 12 000 people over last year right that well this year actually that and then the number behind the this other bar is the number from uh, do we see last year no i guess we don't have it in the numbers but you can see it's more last year i did more and i commented on on more this year than i did last year so but still it's 64 percent of the profiles i visited i was able to comment on so it's pretty good right now these two uh aren't really relevant because the numbers are quite a bit different right? but still out of 819 people that i've engaged on their posts i contacted 164 of them which is 20 percent of them which you know is it's whatever number it is it's up to you how you decide but just to show you this is the important thing <clears throat> out of the 164 that i contacted 123 replied so that's 75 percent. so that means that that's totally insane because if you reach out to people in cold you know using facebook tools and not well not facebook tools but automation tools that automate sending friend requests sending messages to cold contacts that kind of stuff you're definitely not going to get 75 percent reply you're going to get maybe one or two percent reply to your messages right which you know obviously if you have if you have if you just had like five percent reply instead of two it would double your income potential right 
<clears throat> imagine having 75 percent of them reply that's what this tool gives you the power of getting people to actually reply now i'm talking about this because part of the process that you need to go through is getting the sale right you got to get the sale and the only way you're going to get a sale is if people actually like you they know you they trust you and the way that you get people to do that is by them seeing that you're around that you're not you know you're not doing anything wrong you're doing the right things you're doing things to, that they like so they will like you because you're doing the thing that they want they want they want people to engage on their stuff they want comments they want reactions they want you know engagement so that's why you get so many replies so out of the 123 that replied i did pre i present the 17 of them now <clears throat> that's probably because i'm still working my my method of conversation whatever so it's not a great number but still 13 percent is still really really good when you consider that most businesses will say you get a one to two percent of the people that you talk to to actually try your thing actually go to your presentation go to your webinar go to whatever it is you're doing right so out of 17 i had four trial what does that mean so i had 23 percent of the people that actually looked at my presentation actually try out my software right so that's again 23 percent is crazy because most will say again it's four or five maybe ten percent you'll get if you're really good and then purchased out of the four the trial that they bought and that's the, obviously you know that's totally insane if i was able to get you know 20 trials then i, I get 20 sales that's pretty crazy right <coughs> So imagine if I presented to, you know, 170. That means I would get 40 trials and 40 sales. At least that's what these numbers are saying, right? I'm not saying that that's necessarily true, but still, that is insane. And if you want those kinds of numbers, you definitely need to be following these steps. But that's the thing, right? So this ebook you can get right now at attractionmarketingtruth.com, and you can get, <clears throat> you can go through these these five steps to get the attraction marketing secrets working for you all right so we'll see you in the next episode this has been course income secrets the entrepreneur's blueprint to generating income from the e-learning boom some of your friends need to hear this message so don't forget to share for more content like this go to courseincomesecrets.com and make sure to subscribe and follow us here my name is Jean-Serge Gagnon until next time